Hi, I'm Tony. This is SV Tapacha. We are building this cruising sailboat that you see behind me. I'm stood here in the boat shed at the moment, looking out through the doors. And this is episode 200. Who would have thought it? Amazing. And I stood here making that intro video four years ago, uh, saying this is what's going to happen. Um, it was one of the first times I'd ever picked up a video camera. Here we are now, four years later, 200 episodes later. Um, it's been busy four years. It's been a busy four years. Uh, but we've done well, I think. Boat's there behind us, uh, coming on well, making good progress. Um, I've learned an awful lot about making videos and camera work. As I say, I think that introduction video was, was one of the first times I'd ever shot a bit of video. Um, still a way to go, no doubt, but learned a lot along the way and it's been a busy four years. You think back at, at laying out the stem here and, and lofting, um, you know, obviously, you know, building up the hull out of those various um, station segments, and planking it, glassing the thing. And then Alex from Tinkerlog come over and we hauled it out and rolled her over back in the shed and fitted it out. It's been, been exciting. And along the way, of course, making, editing the videos, putting them out. The channel has grown steadily over that time. And uh, let me say now, massive thank you to everybody, every one of you watches these videos and even more so to the delightful people who support the channel on, on PayPal and Patreon and provide, <laughs> provide incredible inspiration to keep going, keep making these things. Thank you guys, 200 episodes. Well, it's a bit grey and overcast today, but we're up here on the boat and we'll start off down below. Let's go down. And we come. And if I spin you around there, cupboard doors and heads, got them hung. Uh, put a magnetic catch on this one. I may put a second one on. Just got the one on there. I may put a second one on under that shelf, but clearly that won't be the final catch. It'll have some kind of one of my fancy wooden catches as well to stop it coming open in the seaway. But the two covered doors in the heads, third one you'll see later is being made. Coming on.
Then of course the big action is still this bimini hardtop that is now looking a sort of uh, greenish white colour. Uh, coming on, first job I've got these 316 stainless fittings that, that fit it to the bimini poles, the stainless poles that have drilled up the holes for those. And then massive sand up session. I routed uh, these profiles on the beams and then put an epoxy fillet along every both sides of each of those beams. And then there's a, a case, I say a lot of sanding, smooth it up, a bit of fill in here and there, and get some epoxy primer on it. What's going on here? More mushrooms. More mushrooms. This is the mushroom year. It seems to be. <laughs> and after last week's announcement, we have now gone out and bought a new dryer, haven't we? Because the old one didn't actually last very long. No, no, it didn't really work, did it? This, yeah. I suppose after decades standing in the cellar. It's yeah, yeah. Packages have arrived. Let's have a look. Right here, I think the easy one. Epoxy primer. This is indeed primer for the hard top. Yeah. 
small ones, 45 watts, and the bigger ones are 60 watts. Then we've got four of these Victron Energy solar panels, um, all relatively small. These are the 60 watt panels. We've got two 60 watt panels and two 45 watt panels, all Victron Energy. I originally thought I'd have four 60 watts, but when I measured out on the hard top, it didn't look good. So I went for the, I say, two 60 watts, two 45 watts, which clearly gives us a nominal 210 watts of solar. If you reckon, it seems to be standard that, that you know you may get 60% of that. Um, takes us down to 120, 130 watts, uh, some 10 amps or so, roughly charging. Now that I've designed the systems and Tapatio have designed, you know, Karen and I have spoken through, and basically we've got the same as what we had in our previous cruising boat, um, which was uh, Miss Molly. Um, so very, very simple, very low electricity requirements. And I certainly hope that uh, that these 10 amps of charging, which you may get for, you know, on a good day, you may get six hours of charging time, 60 amp hours on a good day. You know, clearly some days will be significantly less, but um, we'll more than cover our electricity requirements. Um, so that's what's going on there. Also, you know, in all seriousness is what fits well on here. I've gone for the rigid panels, not the flexible ones. Also, as I said already from Victron, so um, the entire charging system is Victron. The controller will, will be on board with yet, but will be an MPPT controller from Victron. All of my charging is Victron Energy stuff. Um, these are supposed to be fairly tolerant of shading, fairly, you know, as these things go. Um, so hopefully it's going to work. Clearly, one can adapt at any stage. But one thing you need to think about with these rigid panels is uh, that they need a bit of ventilation underneath to keep them cool. So they need to be mounted an inch or so above the surface to, to allow an airflow. Um, and because they're at an angle, I should get a bit of convection airflow underneath them. So next job really on the other side clearly was to make up some battens to the curve of the hard top that would just allow us to mount these rigid panels raised up a bit.
Yeah, and here in the workshop, the last of the cupboard doors, the locker doors, one for the heads. The last door is being made and uh, it's come out very well. One coat of primer, second coat to go on there, get it glossed and uh, hang it using stainless hinges. And I should just make up some kind of wooden catches for them. Coming up.
This one's coming on there. Oh, that. Yeah, just moved them. And that's it for this week thanks for watching all that youtube -y stuff you know leave us a comment hit that subscribe button please and uh we'll be back next time episode 201